SongZap's Mixer. SongZap's Mixer enables you to balance and enhance your song and recordings, even if you are a complete audio engineering novice. In this video, we'll mix Groove Jam, the song made for the Groove Designer tutorial, which you can find at songzapapp forward slash groove. Mixing can often be a very non-linear process, tweaking and refining a mix to your liking as you play a section or song around. We'll do exactly that here, balancing and enhancing elements using SongZap's powerful mix engine with the song on repeat. All elements have been recorded with the iPhone microphone, so we'll start by adding a bit of space to select elements using the green reverb control dots. Giving the lead and backing vocals and snare some reverb is an easy way to quickly create a sense of shared ambience to the recording. We'll then tap on the advanced processing button to access further mix tools. Here we'll focus on the double bass on track two. Experimenting with the compressor effect allows us to bring the double bass forward, making it more solid and present in the mix. Next, we'll enhance its low end by pushing the low EQ to the right a touch. Adding compression and EQ has made the bass feel louder, so we'll exit the advanced processing view and turn it down using the long blue volume fader. It's easy to flip between the two views as you mix, and we'll be doing that a lot as we refine the song. Adding just a touch of reverb to the piano on track one as we reach the end of our first play. Tapping on the next segment button in the playback bar at the bottom, we can forward the song towards the first section containing vocals. We'll add some compression to the lead vocal on track three to make it feel more prominent in the mix. Then come back to the main mixer view, turning up the snare to match the lead vocal placement. Same with the kick drum. The drum kits can always be accessed from SongZap's mixer page, allowing us to experiment with different sounds even at the mixing stage. We'll stick with the funk kit, which suits the hip-hop feel here, and bring more power to the drums with compression. Funk drum hits have often been favoured in hip-hop, but they're always modified for a modern feel. We'll then pan the purple symbols left-right slider slightly to the left, creating some space in the middle of the mix, and experiment with the stereo placement of the backing vocals to counteract the effect. Although many mix engineers avoid reverb on the bass, it feels like our double bass on track two could belong a little more to the picture we're building. Mixing is about constant adjustments as every change made to an element affects every other recording in the song. So we'll have a play with the relative vocal balance between lead and backing and evaluate them as part of the whole mix. Bring down the backing vocals on track four somewhat and then pan them back to the middle. Starting to sound good. A little kick drum level adjustment. Flipping to the advanced view, we'll now add some compression to the piano on track one to match the power of the other elements and bring it out more. Adjusting the level of the backing vocals on track four again. The vocal balance can still take more improvement. It'd be nice to bring the lead closer to the listener and make the backing stable, but push it further back. So we'll add some compression to the backing vocal on track four too, but then also increase the compression on the lead and rebalance them. Notice how much more powerful and present the lead vocal becomes, driving the mix along the drums. But the master fader meter alerts us that we are clipping. 
so it's time to bring down the overall mix level a tad. Time to refine the drums with some EQ adjustments, starting with low end on the kick. And some top end on the snare, so it snaps in the mix. Refining the EQ and compression on an element can be very symbiotic, so we'll now increase the snare's compression a tad to bring out that funk ring. Not bad for a five minute mix down. The song's climax still makes the master meter go into the red, so we'll make some final adjustments there too before exporting. Like you. 